My name is Lisa Fallon, and I'm the Director of Global Actuarial Development at MetLife. Uh, I'm really excited to be here today to talk to all of you about our actuarial development programs at MetLife. Uh, and I have a few other folks from MetLife who will be joining us to talk to you about their experiences. And I'm hoping that we'll have a, a few minutes at the end for Q&A. So why don't we get started? Okay, here we go. So um, the opening of our presentation, I think you can see now, if you're thinking of an actual career, think MetLife. Uh, and I think by the time we get through this presentation, you will see why. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about MetLife, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about our actual programs. MetLife has always been known for very strong leadership. It, the company has been around for a very long time, and it's a pillar of financial strength. We have innovative products and services all around the world, and MetLife has not only uh, supports their their policyholders and their shareholders and their employees, but they really do amazing things around the world that should support uh, social responsibility. So uh, these videos and this MetLife Sustainability Report is something I really encourage you to listen to and, and take a look at. I really can't do it justice just by, by talking about it, but MetLife has put together these wonderful videos that really talk about the impact that MetLife is making around the world. And this Altogether Possible video drives home the impact that MetLife employees, the difference that MetLife employees are making around the world. It also features a few of our uh, actuarial leaders at MetLife. So please, uh, I encourage you, they're very short videos. One is two minutes, one is one minute. Please take a moment to look at it. This MetLife Sustainability Report, uh, if you Google or if Eric sends you the 2021 MetLife Sustainability Report, you will um, really be just so impressed with the amazing things that MetLife is doing around the world, uh, investing in green opportunities, uh, finding opportunities for uh, under, underserved communities, uh, really just amazing. So uh, I encourage you to take a look at that. So let's continue on. Okay, MetLife is one of the largest insurance companies and we are 150 years old. Uh, very few companies, let alone insurance companies, very, very few companies can say that. We have provided financial uh, security to millions of people for you know, over 150 years. We provide benefits in terms of insurance, annuities, uh, general employee benefits and asset management, and we serve over 40 markets around the world. We do hold leading market positions in all different areas, uh, including US, Japan, Latin America, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. And we are a Fortune 500 company. We are in the top 50, as a matter of fact. So I'd like to read this statement to you, and it speaks to our culture. And I know our two MetLife guests who will be speaking uh, in a few minutes can even share with you a little bit more about their experiences. But at MetLife, we are committed to cultivating an inclusive culture where our diversity of talent will position us to meet the needs of our customers, our shareholders, and the communities we serve around the world. This statement is um, very um, meaningful to MetLife employees and uh, you will hear from, from our representatives how true it has been for them. Now, I'd like to talk about some of the opportunities that MetLife has for all employees, not just actuarial employees. We have different ways for our employees to get involved in different professional development opportunities, network with other people, not just in the U.S., but around the world. Uh, we offer different kinds of health and well-being services to our employees, and we really empower our employees to, to uh, achieve their full potential. Within the company, we have all kinds of theme-based Yammer groups. If you can think of it, we probably have it. Uh, we have this MyPath program to enable uh, employees to take on different smaller projects in areas that they're interested in that might be outside of their current uh, employee responsibility, but it's a way 
for them to gain additional knowledge in an area that they're interested in and give back in ways that they uh, are also interested in. We also have a learning library online. So in addition to perhaps some learning courses that the company recommends that you take, there are there is a, a um, plethora of opportunities to learn and uh, find different interesting courses through our learning library. We have different kinds of inclusion networks around the organization. We also have uh, volunteer platforms and many other opportunities for employees to get involved and find those things that make MetLife really special to them and give back in ways that are special to them. Now, MetLife's actuarial heritage is very long, very strong. Our founding global chief actuary, his name was James Craig, and he was one of the presidents of the Actual Society of America, which ended up merging with the Actual Institute of Actuaries and to form the SOA in 1949. So he was one, he was a president and founding America, a uh, founding um, president and founding member of what came to be the uh, SOA as we know of today. MetLife has also had other past presidents of the SOA. Most recently, Andy Rollis served as president of the SOA between 2019 and 2020. Andy is our current global chief actuary, and I will share a little bit more about him down the road in terms of our internship experiences. Okay, so now I'd like to talk a little bit about our actual development program and our actual internship program. So our actuaries around the world, we have over 200 fellows of the SOA, and we have over 1,200 actuaries around the world. Our actuaries uh, work in all different areas of actual practice. They are leaders within the organization. They are leaders within actuarial associations. I myself serve on two, uh, two different committees for the SOA, and they are helping to move the profession forward. So if you're looking for a place where uh, the company is more about being a leader than a follower, MetLife is definitely the place to be. Overall, our 1,200 actuaries form our one MetLife community. It does not feel like a large community, uh, but it, and it feels like a very um, uh, tight community. We have different opportunities throughout the year for our MetLife actuaries to interact with each other. Within MetLife, we have actuaries who work on pricing and product design, valuation, financial analysis, modeling projections. You can see the list here. And we have actuaries throughout the company in life and annuities, retirement and income solutions, group benefits, uh, and a whole host of other areas. So if you think insurance companies are all about life, life products only or um, the traditional actuarial career, that's not true at MetLife. We, have, we even had a CFO, our chief financial officer a few years ago was um, an FSA member. So uh, really important to note that our actuaries work across the country and across the world in different areas of the organization. In our actuarial development program, we provide very com uh, competitive compensation and benefits. And within the program itself, there's very generous study time. Uh, among organizations that I've seen, I believe MetLife has the most, um, if not the, the very top amounts of study time that companies give in, uh, with respect to first attempts, second attempts, third attempts at an exam. And that helps our students be successful in their actual exams. We also provide reimbursements for just about every expense that are our uh, students encounter. Uh, we also provide exam increases for just about every requirement to become an ASA and an FSA, as well as bonuses and promotions at ASA and FSA. And one thing that's really special about MetLife is that our students rotate to new assignments every two years, and they have a say in these assignments. They uh, let my team know their top choices, and almost every student ends up uh, getting one of their top choices. So our students have control to a certain extent over the career path and the training that they are receiving within the actual development program. 
We also have an annual conference where we get actuaries together from around the world. We have um, this, this particular program is an actuarial leadership program. And it is, uh, we also offer a specific leadership program once our students become fellows, where our students will receive training from top leaders throughout the organization. This past year, our students even heard from Michelle Holoff, who is the CEO of the entire MetLife organization. There are many opportunities to advance, and we do have a very strong global actuarial community. In the photos here, you can see some MetLife actuaries and interns and folks at MetLife Stadium during a summer event. And the bottom right hand corner, you see our actuaries at the uh, annual conference that I had mentioned, which is which traditionally has been at a hotel offsite. And it's an amazing event. And our uh, participants learn an incredible amount throughout the throughout the day. I'd like to also highlight our actual internship program. Uh, we have paid internships. They start at 10 weeks, but they can go early, uh, longer. Our interns gain real world experience in actual practices and they experience training presentations throughout the summer on all different areas of actuarial topics. They also um, may participate in different events. I traditionally take our New York and New, New Jersey students to uh, interns rather to MetLife Stadium Day and our, our interns are assigned mentors for the summer. They engage in different social events and there's the possibility of full-time employment as well as an offer, not just for full-time employment, but also to return as an intern, uh, which is extended to some of our interns at the end of the summer. At this point, I'd like to introduce to you Daje Austri, who is uh, one of our actual interns. He worked for us last summer. He's still working for us. We're really excited that he's accepted our offer uh, some months ago to become a full-time student after he graduates in uh, May. So, Daje, why don't you talk a little bit about your experience as an intern? Hi, um, can everybody hear me okay? Um, yes. yeah. Awesome, awesome. Hi, as Lisa mentioned, my name is Daje, and I'm really grateful to have had this internship opportunity. Um, last summer, I actually had the opportunity to work on an international product. Um, I was engaged in processes like uh, regular assumption verification and profitability testing. Um, we call this enforced management. And it was the first time I actually got to see myself in a business setting. Um, and I learned a ton. Uh, while working on this project, I actually got to work with some higher level actuaries and I built some models uh, leveraging Excel VBA. It's a Microsoft programming language, but I'm sure it's like common knowledge at this point. But I, I got the opportunity to automate uh, some of the enforced management processes. Uh, now, I had some experience in VBA, but uh, this project just, it really took my skills to another level. And it's something that I uh, use regularly on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be in classes or I'm um, just doing ad hoc calculations. So I felt like my experience was, was super valuable. Um, and though the uh, internship um, allowed us to work in teams, I mean, that's not all, um, that's not where we stayed. We didn't stay in our silos. Throughout the summer, uh, we were treated with presentations from um, actuaries who had their hands in different parts of the business. There were opportunities provided by uh, student, the student actuarial committee um, to have some fun. Even though we were in our different offices, some folks in St. Louis, Bridgewater, I happened to be in New York um, or Atlanta for part of it. Um, we got to connect with each other through virtual games like uh, Wits and Wagers or Three Lies and the Truth. Um, and then Lisa actually gave us the opportunity to tour MetLife Stadium. And that was an incredible experience. We got to see Lombardi trophies and um, I, we got the opportunity to meet um, some of our fellow interns in person. Uh, it was really, really cool. As I mentioned before, um, I actually happened to spend some time in the New York office. Uh, so halfway into the internship, we got the opportunity to um, show up in person and uh, I really took advantage. Um, I got to see uh, what as a matter of fact, a few of us interns actually got the opportunity to hang out. Um, so, you know, if you happen to get the opportunity to um, intern with MetLife and you end up in New York, I definitely recommend at least checking out Beauty in Essex. Uh, the ambiance is great. And the um, dessert presentations, they're, they're top notch. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, at the end of the internship, everything wrapped up with a presentation where I got to share the work that I got to, uh, that I accomplished as well as um, the work, and I also got to see the work that the rest of our cohort um, completed. 
it was amazing to see how much we got done at the end of 10 weeks. And I was super grateful for the experience. So grateful for, uh, so grateful in fact that I accepted the return offer and, you know, I'm actually learning a lot in the process as I was able to extend my internship over the year and um, actually got to work with a new team um, this semester. My life's, I, I honestly, I think the, the, the grounding um, takeaway that, um, or the part that really made me come back was the fact that MedLife was full of so many kind and generous people who are always willing to help and um, always willing to lend an ear if you're, if you're willing to learn. So um, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better company to be a part of. All right, thank you so much, Dajay. And I know we're running a little bit short on time, uh, but I'd like uh, Henry, Henry Adusi, who is a senior actual associate, he is an ASA, to share some of his comments uh, briefly about being a student at MetLife. Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so um, the ADP program, I like to think of it from three perspectives. So that's um, the rotation program, that's um, where you get to focus on your career. And usually um, you get to rotate every two years. So you get to like build this wealth of experience because MetLife is a, is a big company and there's this like unlimited amount of options you get in terms of like the kind of experience you get to choose in MetLife. So through the rotation program, you can get like a strong foundation for your career and you get to choose where, how, where you want to build from going forward. Then the other aspect of it is the, is the exam progress. Because again, um, no one's gonna come into the program with all their exams. And they, the, the program itself is to like make you a complete actuary. And in addition to the career experience you get, you get enough resources to pass your exam. And in MetLife, like, I don't know about most companies, but in the student program, the way it's designed is you get to like interact with every other student. And whenever you're taking an exam, it's it's much more easier and much more bearable because you're not the one going through it alone. So the last part I want to talk about is the strong community. And I don't know how to explain it because it's much better when you get to experience it. And um, like the part of you never walk alone is the fact that um, every exam I've about to take in MetLife, um, I've always had someone who had just passed the exam before me. And I've always had someone who's taking the exam with me so it's like it creates that community whereby like you need something you can always talk to someone about it you know some stuff you might not want to talk to your manager about it you can always talk to your student about it and the other aspect of it of the student program is the rotation you're in um usually there's going to be someone who just left that rotation and again like if you're worried about something there's only someone you can talk to in the program um mostly we have the official mentors that could like um you know help you with most is and at the end of the day um i've been in a program for the for four years now and i've developed relationship like friends most of my work colleagues in the same program are my friends right now so it's it kind of make everything interesting like if i need help with something it's much easier to go talk to people so um i think if one thing you want to take away from the program is it's a wonderful community it's a it's a wonderful place to be and i know it's not just the play, the the um the location where I am because I'm in St. Louis, and um and Dodge talked about New York and I'm very very sure the ADP program in New York is almost like it's it's as good as the program um the, the community is as good as the community in St. Louis and once in a while you know um there's a conference where we get to like meet with each other and just like talk and you know get to build that network so um uh, please um MetLife ADP is a is a place to be um. Uh, I came in in May. Um, I wasn't sure about it, and I stepped on the company, and uh, I never looked back. Like I, I never updated my resume. But I'm just like you know, I'm I'm in it, and it's it's wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Henry. Uh, I appreciate all the comments that you and Dajay shared. At this time, I just want to share with everybody uh, what we're looking for and how you can apply. So. Uh, generally, you know, most people have a degree in actuarial science or a related uh, scientific field like mathematics, statistics. We prefer a 3.3 um, GPA, but, you know, we, we aren't close to below that amount. Uh, we look for strong technical skills, especially Excel. And if you have some programming skills, that is definitely a plus. Our program 
uh, in particular, our uh, full-time program is a leadership development program. So leadership skills are very important and as well as communication skills. We also uh, like to see some credit for actual exams. P is required for full-time positions and it's preferred for internships. And then finally, commitment to the FSA designation is uh, something that we're looking for. And we look for all of these things in our internship program too, because our internship program is the main pipeline into our full-time program. Uh, so I'm just gonna share with you, there is a website, metlife.com slash actuaries. It looks like this. And at the bottom where you see the, the red oval ring, there are two links at the bottom of the page. When you go to the website, to either apply for the internship program or to apply to full-time programs, or you could just, you know, search on the web for MetLife, you know, internship program or MetLife Actual Development Program, and these same links will probably come up. So with that, I'm going to pause and um, see if there are any questions. Are there sponsorships for international students? Are there sponsorships for international students? Uh, well, we, I know some international students don't, you know, they're here on a student visa, so they don't necessarily need sponsorship. Uh, sponsorship on full-time, you know, it is a little bit harder uh, to make happen simply because of the expenses involved, but we do have people who um, do work for us from other, uh, we have had people that we have sponsored, so it is a possibility. In addition, we can always look for opportunities for our um, applicants in other parts of the world as well. So the opportunity is there. The door is open, but it is a little bit harder for a sponsorship student just because of, um, you know, some additional barriers. Okay, so will that affect um, an internship application in any way, whether um, an applicant requires sponsorship or not? I think if someone is a strong candidate, regardless if they need sponsorship, they should apply. And, you know, obviously we're trying to attract really strong talent, people who we see in the future at our, in our actual development program. Uh, so I would say if you are, if you need sponsorship, but you're interested, you should still apply. And, um, you know, that opportunity may be there even, even if you need sponsorship. Got it. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, for Henry and uh, Dajay, what um, programming languages have y'all used so far? Dajay, I think uh, Dajay should go first, and I'll tell you guys the ones I've used that he hasn't. I, uh, well, I know I've had some conversations about um, using R and um, I'm using Power Query, um, uh, Power Query M formula, I think is the proper name, um, more in my role right now, um, because we're, we're using Power BI in a lot of different, um, and a lot, a lot of different businesses from what I understand. Uh, but most of my experience has been um, with Excel VBA, uh, at least in the office. Okay, so um, mostly I, I use it. Can you hear me? Yeah, mostly um, I use Excel VBA. Um, of course, when I joined my life, um, I was a little bit good at it, but when I joined my life, I did improve a lot on that. And it's kind of most of our, most of the things we do, we do in spreadsheets. So it's kind of an easier way to contribute to a team in terms of automation. But in terms of modeling, I can I say the tool we use, Lisa? <laughs> So um, I did learn Profit. Um, Profit, um, it's one of our modeling softwares. Um, I did take PA exams, so I know how to use R. Um, once in a while, I get to use Python. Um, once in a while, I get to use SQL. Um, once in a while, um, maybe some software. I think, um, so I use R Studio a lot, like just for, um, not for monthly stuff, um, Python, I get to use Python also, like usually when you have um, a problem and um, you're not using it every month, but you want to fix something and sometimes it's only Python that could fix it. So a good example of that was um, we had an issue with the server and um, you had to be online or else you're going to get logged off. And um, 
and I wanted to do something else. I also like write a Python script to like keep clicking on the mouse so I don't get logged off. So like sometimes you might just have like come up with like um, some like hard hoc solution. So you could use any tool really. And keep in mind, Henry has rotated to different assignments at MetLife. So clearly Henry has developed a lot of different experiences and, and used uh, a variety of, of software. Uh, and learn pro programming languages by going through that rotation process. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, so I had a, I had a question. Uh, does MetLife yeah. recognize uh, CIA exams? Like, because uh, through, through my university, I get exam accreditations. Uh, uh, so what, what kind of exams were you referring to again? Uh, I'm currently in Canada, and so it's through the Canadian Institute of Actuaries. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not technically recognized by the SOA. I think, uh, you know, on the path to becoming an associate and to becoming a fellow, um, obviously those are those are the exams that we would be looking for. But if you've passed other exams and you're planning on switching over to the SOA, absolutely, you know, make that known to us because the, the purpose of having some exams coming in as an intern is so we can see your commitment to the actual profession. And if you were taking exams through a different organization, you know, clearly you're, you're committed to the profession, just maybe you decided to switch over to SOA. Uh, in terms of being an actuary in one of those organizations, um, Met light, uh, are you doing the um, casualty exams or are you doing a different set? Um, I think casualty, yeah. Yeah, so MetLife, we don't really have a US casualty block anymore. We, we had sold that business off. So we are looking for, in, in the US actual development program, we are looking for people to take exams through the Society of Actuaries. In terms of your application, though, if you've passed other things and you're planning to switch over, you know, that that would be good for us to know. And we can see that you've had success in other organizations taking exams. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything I else? I know we're a few minutes over. I appreciate okay. everyone uh, sticking with us through this. And it's been a four sessions in a row for some of you. So it, it's great that you've all participated. I, I will throw out MetLife has been an ongoing supporter of IABA for several years now, for quite a few years now. Um, one of the personally, I think, pretty cool things is if you're at the annual meeting, there are a number of MetLife people there. So you can speak to people who are as high up as Adrian, uh, Paris, who's on this call as well. You can speak to Lisa. You can speak to people who are very new to the company and get a variety of different perspectives. And I think that's a really great thing to when you're searching out where you want to go with your career to be able to get those different perspectives at different stages in a career. And that's something I think MetLife, partially due to its size, but partially due to their ongoing support of IABA has really been able to offer it at, at things like the annual meeting. So Hopefully you'll get to meet with everyone on Tuesday at the virtual career fair and really get to know them better and they'll get to know you better. Uh, Marcus, if if you're looking to stay in Canada, there are, I think, several Canadian firms that will be in attendance on, on Tuesday as well. So there will be some good opportunities there as well. So thank you so much. I don't know, Lisa, Adrian, um, Daje, Henry, if you have any parting words that you want to leave anyone with. Uh, I appreciate the thoughts you just shared. I wanted to mention Ron Medine, Adrian Paris, um, Henry Adusi, and um, Carol McFarlane and myself. We were, and actually Daje, Daje was there too. We were all there last uh, last uh, August for the annual meeting. And you're right, we do like uh, bringing a, a variety of people, different experiences uh, to to talk with our uh, prospective candidates and is there anyone from our team who would like to add anything uh, before we go i guess i will i'll add something but um as as was mentioned earlier the individuals participating on this call will be at the career fair so please please turn up please um um like 
make sure that you book time with us so that we can answer any detailed questions. What I would say about MetLife is that it's a massive organization. Um, prior to MetLife, I've had quite a few jobs um, so that I can develop my, my, my expertise. However, after joining MetLife, I've stayed with MetLife. Now, I haven't gone through um, the US system but I think the opportunities that MetLife offers um, is, is, so, is so fulfilling, whether you are an intern, whether you're coming in as a student, uh, or, or even if you were me in a, in a different part of the business, um, there's a lot that's in there for, for you. So I would say um, this was a short session. Make sure you make the most of the career fair, and we look forward to talking to you uh, on the 21st. Thank you. Thanks for as a time, final. Guys. As a final reminder, uh, Eric, you said that you'll share some of those links. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties earlier, uh, but I really encourage you to watch those videos and check out our sustainability report. It's quite impressive.